Hey folks, let's go over some lighting techniques when doing drawings. I'll start by shining a light on flash in order to study the visual change. This toy has volume, so light and shadow are going to interact with it dynamically. The angle of the light and the distance the light has from the toy are going to change the appearance. So when you try this at home and you make your own reference footage, make sure you adjust those. Kind of tilt things around and move the flashlight closer and further away from the object. So the next thing I want to do is to create a rough sketch and then eventually a grayscale drawing of flash. On a new layer, what I'll do is hold down the shift button and I'm going to click, click, click around with the mouse so I can draw the edges and sides of the figure. Later, I'll go back and fill this boxy statue. And the big takeaway when doing this type of an exercise is to figure out the direction of each side of the simplified character. Now I'm going to create a light and shadow layer with the screen and the multiply blend modes. I'm going to also create a clipping mask so paint shows up only on the layer with the flash drawing. I'm painting white on the screen layer and adjusting the opacity so I can fine tune the intensity. I can always add another layer if I really want that burning white, but I'll do the exact same thing with my multiply layer. On the multiply layer, I'm going to use black paint and I'm going to choose the opposite planes of the light source. Again, just like the screen layer, I can always go back and dial in the intensity of the shadow by changing the opacity. My goal is to get the value just right. In this segment, I'll use a shape carving technique with lasso painting to fill areas with black paint. Don't forget that the character is a planar object, so shadows will show up on the opposite side of the form based on where the light source is coming from. Let's just examine those half tones in the arm for a bit and study how the light transitions to dark. In order to soften that transition, I'm just going to use a smaller brush to paint tiny marks over the light section. I can also go back and use the lasso tool to build a selection and delete or carve away chunks of shadow. Instead of a solid dark and a solid light, I'll have created some form of halftone in between both of them. It's a really great tool to be able to add detail with only using a couple of colors. All right, so as we wrap things up, I just want to share a little bit more footage and just go over a couple of ideas. Whether you're painting directly or using a shape carving method, the big idea is to try to figure out where the planes are so you have a reason to add shadows and highlights. Do me a favor, go find some toys, go find a flashlight, and give this a try. Thanks for watching. Bye.